Hello everyone, my name is Jenny and I'm the Associate Course Leader for the International MBA of BCU, Birmingham City University. Welcome and I hope that with this video I will let you know everything about the International MBA and why you want to apply for it and want to come study at BCU. So I hope you enjoyed it. So first of all, I'm going to introduce myself. I am um, Associate Course Leader for the International MBA for the past few years and I've been also teaching the modules on the course as well. And um, unfortunately today the course leader is not available, that's why I'm recording this video and for your information. Uh, most of our staff working teaching in this program has very good experience. So for example, myself, I have international work experience in operations management in manufacturing industry, um, specifically in the car industry and also logistic companies in the shipping operations as well. Um, my other colleagues, as I will introduce later on with the slight information, uh, give you some good idea of a uh, good experience and teaching background that we do have, which I believe that would be very useful for your experience because international MBA is not just studying some theory and getting your degree, but it's to get yourself understanding the different theories in terms of business operation, business administration, and then applying those theory, very importantly, in many different industries. Because we understand that you guys come from many different backgrounds in terms of education, and some of you have work experience in different industries. And you are very likely looking forward to a great career after you finish the degree and to work in different industries or companies or maybe even setting up your own business or working in family business in different fields. And that's why our program is designed to teach you many different varieties of perspectives for business and to prepare yourself for those different jobs in the future. So let's get started with our program in here. I'm going to share the slides, which gives you some ideas of what we do for the program. And I hope that you would enjoy it. Okay. Right, so I hope that you can see the, all of this information clearly. Uh, we'll go through quite a few things today, so please do bear with me. Okay, so first of all, welcome to Birmingham City University International MBA Programme. And for you to apply for it, this is for the January 2021 um, intake. And hopefully by then the COVID situation has improved and we really want to welcome you physically in Birmingham, be able to come on our campus, which is amazing design and to study and to also very importantly interact with other students together with our lecturers and staff. Okay, so for example, I will give you some idea about what to do first week when you come. So this is our induction program plan for January 2021. So if you come before the 18th of January, this is how you can settle down first few days. And we have already plan. So this would be the Tuesday on the 19th of January 2021 that we will go through quite a few things because we know that you probably don't know much about the UK just yet or the program and this is how we can introduce all this different information to you so that you get you ready for our program. Okay so something like welcoming you definitely and the program overview you get to know the staff, not just the teaching staff, but the administrators, so that you, when you have issues or other questions or inquiries, you know who to go to. And we're going to introduce the Moodle program, which is um, what we use for our internal information. So all our teaching information, readings, additional um, notes or readings and teaching slides, and very importantly for your submissions, everything is go through the Moodle internal system for you to get access to and for throughout your studies. We also provide Center for Academic Success supports. So these are for your study skills and for your writing skills, etc. 
and we have a team to support you on that. So we know that you might not be very familiar with the UK system or some of you have been working for a while. So you need to get back to the academic writing style. And this is how we can support you with that. OK, and also, of course, we let you know about the culture, not just the study culture, but the UK culture so that we can settle you down nice and well that you can enjoy your experience. And we also cover issues such as internship, which is part of our program. Some of you would be going on there. So this is something that we do support you on. And of course, with the enrollment and settle down with the timetable so you know what to do. So this is a nice brief, just simple introduction for the induction week that we would go through certain activities. Right, so let me go through introducing the team first. So these are some of the key lecturers that would be, or module leaders that will be teaching you. So because it's an international MBA, we have international backgrounds or experience, and we have different colleagues in here that teach you different um, modules or different perspectives or professionals of business administration activities. Okay, so for example, we have colleagues teaching HRM, human resource, marketing, finance, operations, strategy, entrepreneurship, and this is me, myself, Jenny, that teach operations management and project management. Okay, so like I said, these are some of the modules, which I believe you can check it out on our website for some more detail. So you can go through to checking out whether these are useful or how are we going to teach those. And then you can also go through some of the additional reading for different modules. So myself, for example, I'm teaching operations and project management, which gives you understanding of how business operates and also how to manage project. Before that, of course, you would also um, study different perspective of the business MBA course on HRM, human resource management, managing financial performance, marketing management in a global way, okay, entrepreneurship and innovation, um, leadership and organization transformation, and also global strategic management. Research method, on the other hand, this are the towards the end when you need to do your dissertation or if some of you are doing your internship or maybe professional, professional practices, you would need those methods to go through. Okay. So this is a more detail of how our program is planned out. So you go through three different stages. At stage one, this is the postgraduate certificate stage, which you need to gain or achieve 60 credits with three modules. These are the functional areas of the management and the key skills that you will need to acquire before you move on to the second stage, which is the diploma stage. And in that sense, by then you will also complete under the three modules worth 60 credits. So altogether with stage one and stage two, you will have 120 credit to move on to the final stage, the stage three, and to finish off with the extra 60 credits. So altogether, you will be graduating with your international MBA with 180 credits with um, seven modules and also adding on to your dissertation or otherwise your internship placement writing. Okay, so after stage one, where, where you get your basic key skills, stage two, we're moving on to more strategic thinking issues. These are very useful for management um, level because in the future, when you work or manage your business, these are the very important skills that you need to develop. Okay, and finish off, yes, like I said, our MBA course is not just learning about the theory, memorizing the theory, but to apply. So application in UK education is very useful and very important because you need to integrate and also apply your understanding of theory that you have learned into real business context. And that's why, like I said, our staff have experience in different industries or different perspective of the business operations. In that case, when we do our teaching, we will bring in different experience or different stories or different examples of business operations or real company cases for you to understand better. So this would enhance your understanding from different perspective of industries in which 
enable you in the future to work in different companies or different operations. So going down to be more specific, like I said, stage one, this is the certificate stage, which we have three main modules that you need to study in your term one. So when you come over in January, this is the first three modules that you will study first. And first one is global marketing management, 20 credits, strategic HR, human resource management, and also managing financial performance. Again, if you check it out, we have marketing, HR and finance, different perspective of the business, which enable you to understand those first. Then moving on from April time, okay, you have your another three different modules, which is the international operations and project management, which I'm the module leader, and also strategic leadership and organizational transformation which is also 20 credits and the enterprise innovation and creativity module. So again, those three modules will enable you to move on from the you know, basic certificate stage onto the um, strategic thinking and skills, moving to the diploma stage. And finally, if you finish all this, so moving on, the last module here is contemporary strategic management in global context. Again, because we are international MBA, so global ten context or international level is very important. So this is another 20 credit uh, module, which adds on to the total of seven modules altogether. And with the dissertation or otherwise your project, if you work in internship or your practical um, experience and this is for you to write down the project in here taking 40 credits if some of you are not working for internship or practical experience then you do a dissertation and we certainly support you with that and this is why we said this another module doing research methods providing you with all the skills or methods that you will need so those are the very brief introduction of the three stages of the modules that you go through. Again, with detail of each of the modules, you will be able to check it out on, from our website. Some of you may be doing a 22 months version, which include a professional placement. So that is 60 credits, which you will stay through or work through April to September time. So this is in addition to what you do in stage one, then moving on to stage two and stage three, where most of other students, if they're on the 15 month version, they will be doing just as what I said. But for some of you applying for the professional placement, which give you the experience to work in business context, and this is the 60 credits that you will need to complete for the duration of April to September. Right, so going down to more detail, this is the difference between the dissertation and the internship management project. I will very briefly go through this because you can also read from the slides in here. So the dissertation and research method will run between September 2021 to September, uh, March 2022nd, okay? With the final submission in April time, kind of 15 months when you start your um, program in January next year, okay? You will be allocated with the supervisor in September, depends on which, pro, uh, which topic of research on your, of your dissertation that you will be doing. And we'll hope to be able to give you a particular tutor that is specifically in your area to support you through, okay? And you have to make up your mind by September 2021 with your dissertation topic and we'll allocate your supervisor because you need to within about four or five months time that you need to complete your dissertation again if you finish your study for the two different stages of your program you probably be more specific like i said because you will be doing marketing hr or operations finance then by the time when you do your dissertation, you should be able to choose something that's very specific or something that you prefer to do for your dissertation, which can be useful for your future career. On the other hand, if you're not doing a dissertation, but working in internship, which you would be able to work in business context in a 
physical company, if you can contact them, we will be expected to prepare a management project, which is equivalent to the dissertation. And you will also be allocated with the academic supervisor in addition to your workplace allocated supervisor. So that will be your mentor working in the company that you work for your internship. And the internship will take place in between sometime November to March next year, the year after. And I personally also been an academic supervisor with students working in internship, which is a very good experience because they have great experience in that sense. And also we will provide academic supports. So you'll be able to integrate your academic theories and to work place and in your particular internship company and your mentor will be able to discuss us with us as academic supervisors to go through certain issues. So for example, we have students that went on to internship and they might be able to identify some issues or problems at their workplace in their company. In that case, we can provide some certain kind of consultancy support in that sense with the academic support. But of course, this is down to each case. So it depends on how it works. But in the past, I believe my students also experienced, enjoyed the experience because this is a very good exercise or time for them to physically be in working in a company, getting some experience and also be able to apply their learning and their knowledge into the business altogether. Okay. And your internship management project submission would be same at the same time as your dissertation in March or April time in 2022nd. I believe this is not right. Yes. Okay. So for the 21. Okay. So, however, for the 21 months, the professional practice is between April and September time, like we said. So this is to integrate your professional practice learning into the whole program altogether. Your graduation will be completed once you completed your course will be in July 2022, except those who are doing MBA with professional practice, which will be later in the year. So this is a, some of the very brief guideline for you to understand and to um, know your, what to expect because most of you will be doing the 15 months um, MBA, which then means your graduation will be July the year after. And that would be something that you can keep in mind. Okay, so that is the brief timeline that we just talked about. And let's go down to something quite specific for you to know what to expect for the course. So we said those are the different modules that you need to go through, seven modules altogether, and one dissertation or maybe management project, depends on whether you do your internship or not. On the other hand, for you to be accessed throughout the different modules, um, we don't just do exams, okay? So some of you might not prefer exams, that's fine, but we'll go through different formats or different activities for your assignment submission. So this includes reports or mini projects, business plans, and essay writing, exam, I think it's just one or two with the finance as well, and presentation, which we value that very much because um, group or individual presentations are very useful for your future job performance and producing portfolios as well. Again, going down to the detail for each one of this, you can check out the module perspective and then you can check it out. What are the requirements and what are the assessment and how would you um, be able to complete that? And some of the assessment are individual and some of them are group work. So I know that it can be challenging for group work sometimes, but again, this is very useful for your future because um, uh, in the future workplace, you would experience the different individual work and also company working in groups and teams, etc. And um, for each of the assessment, because you need to complete the 20 credit modules, so you would need to make sure that um, you achieve that. Okay. And some of the 40 credit modules you would need to go achieve or complete 
two assessments altogether. And you will be given two attempts on each of the modules. So say in a very unfortunate case, if you fail the first attempt, first submission or first exam that you set, then you would be given another opportunity to get a reset work to complete your module. So hopefully with that, you will be able to pass your module. And our pathway is 50%, which can be different from some other countries. So you just need to achieve 50% or above to pass your module. And this is the same as for your first or otherwise second attempt. However, please bear in mind, if you fail your first attempt, when you reset for your second attempt, um, this, you, your mark will be capped as 50%. So even if in your second reset opportunity, if you achieve more than 50%, we'll still mark you or cap your mark as 50% because this is your reset opportunity. So please do well first time as much as you can do to achieve as high mark as possible. But in any unfortunate case, if you do fail, don't worry, because you would get the opportunity to reset. And if you do well and to get a pass, you will be able to pass the module. So you don't need to worry too much about it. OK. And so also for patchwork assessments or maybe um, other reports or submissions, you just need to achieve 50 percent altogether. And your dissertation, on the other hand, will be second mark, which means your supervisor most likely will be marking your dissertation together with another marker. So in that case, we are trying to make sure that your mark is as fair as possible. And also for your assessment and all these marks, uh, they would go through sampling, internal moderation, and also for external moderation with external examiners. So this is to make sure all the marks are fair and just. And if otherwise, external examiner will be able to go through those marks and they will provide um, validation and to make sure if there's any changes of the marks, they will let us know. And we'll make sure that goes through the exam board for confirmation. So this is how we can work as much as from our side to make sure all the marks are fair and it's very good opportunity for you to um, get your fair mark that's worth for all your hard works. Okay, so moving on something a bit less stressful, I think it's more fun. And this is another reason why you should do our international MBA is because we provide study visits to companies. So with the current situation, unfortunately, in the UK, when we are when we were in the lockdown, so we might not be able to visit visit the company, but hopefully by next year, this will be back on as normal. So in the past, we have been bringing our students to different companies, for example, JCB, Jaguar and Land Rover. So those different companies for company visits. So we will spend a day visiting the company, really seeing how in real business and um, how different theories or application of theory works. And our students always enjoy the experience because this is how they can see, especially for the UK experience, the British culture of manufacturing and many other business operations. Uh, moving on kind of towards the last bit, um, this is what you can look forward to after your MBA. So we have been running our program for many years already. We have very large base of graduate alumni that working in many different industries. So I'm not going to go down to the detail in here, which you will be able to read and see or check it out from our website. And same as for our modules. And that's why we have a good list of varieties of modules in different perspectives of business, including marketing, finance, HR, product management, operations management, management consultancy, which is a very good experience for MBA students. And certainly some of you are going to be entrepreneurs to have your own business. So those different perspectives of modules, but also very good experience and preparation for your future career in those different types of industries or management levels. And I'm sure you can look forward to that. Okay. Right, to finish off, this is something very brief for Birmingham. 
because uh, Birmingham City University is based in right in the center of Birmingham. And this is a vibrant city, which we have the um, well known as the city with the youngest population in Europe. So I hope that you will all come and enjoy it because we have many different buildings or Brant Sancho, this is the train station that we have. And certainly, like I said, this is a vibrant city. So we have many different canals. Our canals is actually longer than Venice, just for your information. So you can have a little walk along the canals, enjoy the city with different you know, areas or shoppings and restaurants, etc. Apparently, I think we have um, the most Michelin restaurants outside London. So you can definitely enjoy that. Okay. Our university is at the heart of the city, which is right next to the to be built high speed train station outside there. So that's very good. And you can see in the here we have different buildings. Our business school is based in the Curzon building, which is um, one of the new built that we have in the university. So I'm sure you're going to enjoy that, especially on the sunny day when you can get out from the building and you can just have a little picnic or enjoy your lunch in the sun. Okay, so we have a very good facilities as well inside the university. So you have the libraries and study rooms and very good space that you can certainly meet up as for your group projects or just for chill out, good time hanging out with your course mates and many other students. So we do hope that you get the opportunity to come and visit or otherwise at the moment, you can certainly do our vis visual visits online and enjoy the experience. And this is the very current situation uh, with the COVID information. So yes, uh, the university is doing all our best to be able to provide the COVID safe um, arrangement so students coming in, they're sanitizing stations and one-way system walking through the building, make sure everyone's nice and safe. Again, hopefully by the time when you come next year, this would not be necessary that we will be back to our normal life. Okay. And the good thing about the Curzon building, especially because it's very spacious. So certainly this would be able to enable us to provide a good and safe environment for social distancing in place for students and staff. So we hope to keep you safe as well and to make sure that you can enjoy your study experience and with all the space and information and library facility that we can provide all together. Right, very important at the end, it's always leaving the best thing at the end, it's our postgraduate scholarship. Okay, so if you apply for our course, you will be granted with 1500 pounds of scholarship for January 2021 start, because this is definitely would be something to contribute to your study and for your university um, fees as well. Right, so that's everything altogether that I would be talking about today. And if you would want more information, please feel free to contact us. And this is the email address that you can certainly get some replies. So it's international.inquiries at bcu.ac.uk for any additional questions or issues. Or if you want to contact me, that's fine. Our names and contact information or email address are available on our website. So if you are interested in our course and if you want to find out more, feel free to drop us an email and to ask for questions. And we look forward to welcome you in Birmingham. So hope that you enjoy our little presentation today. And we look forward to welcome you on our international MBA course at Birmingham City University.